What is irony? Irony is the expression of one's meaning by using language that normally signifies the opposite, typically for humorous or emphatic effect. That's according to the Oxford English Dictionary. G'day, hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Once again, it is much, much appreciated. Alanis Morissette released the song Ironic in the February of 1996, in which she details many different situations that were ironic, such as. And. It's a death row pardon, two minutes too late. Also. It's a black fly. Chardonnay. Along with It's like rain on your wedding day. And not to forget A no smoking sign on your cigarette break We'll get to the ironic part of this video a little bit later But in the meantime, it seems that our favourite flat earther and largely misguided friend CC, Chris from New York has possibly, finally, lost the plot. Good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. Oh wow, I've heard of bad hair days, but this is ridiculous. What has happened to the luscious locks, Chris? Normally so pristine and sharp? Nah, who am I kidding? I'm only jealous. I'm nearly as bald as a coot. We're 27-24 and once again here we are with no answers. Someone knocking at the door. To our questions. What are you doing? Go inside. Do me a favor. Open the door. I let him in. Oh wow, if it's not Mrs. CC, it's now the kids. They seem to have uh, had enough of Chris's nonsense. All right, sorry, I was distracted. I'll just have to start where I left off and I... <laughs> NASA. NASA? You didn't leave it at NASA. You left it at, we have no answers. Are we no answers? Told you. 1969. Where are you? Over 50 years of nonsense. Garbage. Crap. We have nothing. No pictures of Earth. We have nothing. Haha. Au contraire, mon ami. Oops, sorry, wrong planet. Except some a ridiculous picture from 1969. And others from 1972, the last broadcast. And that's all we have. And you believe this. The people out there believe this shit. They're content with it. Because it's a fact, Christopher. Satellites, the ISS, astronauts have all taken pictures of the Earth. And satellites the ISS and astronauts 
are all very, very real things. Okay, I challenge you to show us one picture of a stationary flat pizza disc floating in space. Yep, I think he's finally lost it. By the way, Chris, where's the clock? Have you taken it down because the shape of the clock reminds you of the shape of the Earth? Just saying. So it's possible Chris has lost the plot. Only time will tell. Anywho, back to irony. The title of his video is called Show Us a Curve on Our Flat Earth. Now, I was downloading this and I, and I didn't or I couldn't see the screen, but I could not believe my ears when I heard the video that followed his video. And I immediately thought of Alanis Morissette. Isn't it ironic? Let's see if you agree. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. Let me be a part of your life. SpaceX launch director, go for launch. I literally could not believe my ears. So I watched the whole video and here are a few selected clips. I am pretty sure that that is the curve of the Earth. So is it ironic that I was watching Cece's video titled Show Us The Curve and the very next video was of SpaceX showing us the curve? Is it ironic? Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me if you did get this far. If you did like the video, please consider subscribing. You can do so by clicking the button here. And if you really did like the video, clicking that thumbs up button really does help the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. G'day.